This episode of The Basic Filmmaker is sponsored by... Come on, you didn't really think I was going to do that, did you? Lately, I've received a ton of questions about what settings to use on a camera. Show us your camera settings, damn it! To answer the many viewer requests, I'm going to rip through the settings I use on this camera, and hopefully, this helps. And no, I said I was going to rip through these. Ready? Go! Turn the camera on. Flip the photo video switch to video. Turn the top knob to manual. Push the menu button. Ratchet the first menu, shoot one. Image quality, raw, doesn't matter for this camera. JPEG, highest setting on left. Image review, four seconds, doesn't matter. Beep, enable, I like beeps. Release shutter without card, doesn't matter, mine's on. Lens aberration correction, peripheral illumination, disabled. This tries to correct the edges or vignetting, and it depends on what lens you're using. I found it unreliable. Chromatic aberration, enabled. I don't know if it makes a difference. I haven't tested it. External speed light control. Don't care. Mirror lockup off. Next sub menu, shoot two. Exposure compensation, dead center at zero. ISO speed settings, doesn't matter. Set the ISO when you're ready to shoot using the controls on the camera. Auto lighting optimizer, off. White balance, custom. Custom white balance, we'll set that later when we're ready to film the shot. White balance shift bracketing, Leave it at zero. Color space. sRGB or Adobe RGB. I use Adobe RGB. Next menu, shoot three. Picture style. User defined one. Hit info. Sharpness all the way to the left at zero. Contrast all the way to the left at minus four. Saturation. Two clicks to the left at minus two. Color tone. Leave in the middle at zero. Long exposure. Noise reduction. Off. High ISO speed. Noise reduction. Leave on. Standard. Highlight tone priority. Off. Dust delete data. Don't care. Multiple exposure in HDR mode, not available for movie shooting, don't care. Next menu, shoot three, AF mode, live mode, don't care. Grid display, off, set it to what you like. Movie recording size, 1920, 24 frames per second. Set as appropriate for your shot. All I. This camera allows me to capture all the data for every frame instead of trying to interlace or interframe the video. Sound recording, manual, recording level, dead center. I record sound using an off-camera mic, so the camera sound is used only as a reference audio track. If you record sound into your camera as the main source, test and adjust the setting to suit your needs. Wind filter, disabled. Silent live view shooting. Don't care. I leave it at mode one. Metering timer, default is 16 seconds. Don't care. I leave it there. Next menu, shoot four. Time code, count up. Record run. Start time. Don't care. Movie recording count, record time. Movie play count, record time, HDMI, time code, off. Silent control, disabled, don't care, don't use it. Movie shooting button, the default front button, HDMI output plus LCD, no mirroring for my external monitoring. Next major menu, autofocus, AF1 through AF5 menus. I skip the whole thing. I focus manually when I shoot. Next menu, playback settings. First menu, play one, don't care. Second menu, play two, don't care. Third menu, play three. Histogram display, Brightness or RGB, I like brightness. Movie play count, record time. Magnification approximate, 10x magnify from center. That helps with focusing when I zoom up to the eyes of a subject. Control over HDMI, don't care. Next major menu, setup. Setup one, record function plus card folder selection. Record function, auto switch card. I keep both a CF card and an SD card in my camera so I don't run out of space. Record play, card one. Record to the CF card first, folder. Don't care. File number continuous. I rename the files later. File name, don't care. I leave it at the obtuse ze 2 ace thing. Auto rotate off. Don't shoot sideways. Format card. I always do this before I shoot to make sure the card is empty and working. Next sub menu, set up two. Auto power off, 15 minutes. I hate when the damn camera turns off when I'm setting it up or directing someone else. LCD brightness, your choice. I leave mine on auto. Date time zone, set to the current date, time, and time zone once. It remembers. Language, English, set it to your language. I once set it to something else and it took me forever to find the menu again and set it back to English. Viewfinder grid display, don't care. When shooting video, you're looking at the LCD display or an external monitor, not through the viewfinder. GPS device settings, don't care. I have no GPS unit connected. HDMI frame rate, 
Auto for my off-camera monitor. Next menu, setup three, video system, NTSC for North America, PAL for others, battery info, don't care, sensor cleaning, auto clean. Info button display options, all on. Rate button function, don't care. Next sub menu, setup four, don't care. Next main menu, custom functions, CF1 menu, exposure level increments, one third, ISO speed setting increments, one third. Don't care about all the rest. CF menu two, don't care. CF menu three, don't care. CF menu four, don't care. Last menu, my menu settings. Don't care, I don't use it. Okay, you're gonna have different settings and menus on your camera, and these are set depending on what you're shooting, what type of camera you have, and how much you wanna control the look of what you shot in post-production. If your camera uses picture profiles, or you're interested in learning about these, I highly suggest reading and watching a very thorough discussion of these from Philip Bloom. The link is in the description below. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching. <laughs> That's a wrap. Go. Turn the camera on, flip the photo video, switch to video, turn the top knob to manual, push the menu button, ratchet the first menu to shoot one. Image quality raw, doesn't matter for this camera. JPEG, highest setting on the left, image review, four seconds, doesn't matter. Beep, enable, I like the beeps. Release shutter without card, doesn't matter. Mine's on, lens aberration correction. Peripheral illumination disabled. This tries to correct, oh my god, it's too fast!